This is Danielle at DIYDanielle.com and today I'm going to show you how to make some goat hay feeders from old feed bags. So I got an old feed bag. I wanted a big hole. I just use some scissors to create a hole here. Next thing I want to do is make sure that I can use this. I need to be able to hang it. One thing I learned is the last time I tried this, I did a cord like this and like this, Mommy, which I made this wooden. which made it hard for me to get this open and closed. So what you want to do is you want to do a cord here and here, and then here and here. So that way you can it's it's always available and open. The only problem with that is water can get through, but I think in the overall scheme of things, water is probably going to get through anyways. So you know you're doing what you can. So what I may do is trim this down. I want to put a, um, a flake of hay in here and see how high that'll go and um, determine the height based on that. Okay, so as you can see, tied here, tied there, tied there and there. So I got two separate, two separate things. That means I can get my hay in. I could have cut some off. I decided not to. I figured I'll just keep it like this and I can hang it right over one of my T-posts over here. Hi guys! Say hi Dickie. Duckies! Hi Duckies! So one of my main reasons for doing this is I wanted something to transport the hay back and forth. Um, I want to be able to take these and haul them over, take the, take the one that's empty and bring it back and um, that way I don't have to hold the hay from the shed all the way over to here. This doesn't sound like a big deal, except for I have poison ivy up and down my arms that will not go away, and it's right how I hold my my hay when I move it. So I'm a little concerned that I've been like holding on to hay that's got poison ivy in it. Which okay, here's the verdict after using this for a few weeks. So we have these ones that are taller, and we have these ones that I cut in half. I like the half ones better for filling with flakes, but these are great to fill with fluffy hay that's not really tightly packed into a um, into a flake which we had some hay that wasn't really compacted very well so that works pretty well for this um, either way they seem to be happy with it they don't like being further from their house but that's my whole goal is to get them further from their house because otherwise they were eating just in there and that's where you get situations where one the hay is compacting and rotten on the ground so you need to clear it off which Okay, fine, just another chore, but I'd rather not have as many chores. And the other issue was that the door wouldn't close because it would get stuck um, on the hay. And the other issue is they're pooping there, they're just sitting there. Even though they tend not to eat off the ground, you still run a higher risk of worms. Um, you want to encourage them to using be using new space in your field as much as possible. At least that's my opinion. Um, everything I've read says to switch fields with them, but we don't have, um, we don't have, well, we probably have the resources if we pulled up half of our fencing. Instead, I made one really big field and they don't really, they're not really encouraged to go in it. So what I wanted to do is just to get them using different parts of their, their pasture. And at some point we may close this off and make a different pasture with some of this fencing. But for now, this is where we're at. Um, and they don't have worms, so... Um, we just had them tested, so that's good. But um, the other benefit is, you know, you're going to get some loss of hay here. And one of the things I've noticed is you could see we're having patches where the hay fell out. And they won't eat that. And that's fine. But it's nice because you could see there's no growth on that side. Um, that side. So what we have is a fence that I don't have to weed whack. Which, if you have enough goats, you probably won't need to. But we only have three goats. And this is a huge pasture. Um, I want to get more or get sheep or something to go in here at some point maybe, but at this point they're expensive and uh, <laughs> it's more the initial cost more than the, uh, the feeding cost and stuff. I don't mind that, but um, oh man. <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, so hi friends. I think I, I think I definitely prefer those ones and I think I would do more of them um, these were the old ones and what I'm doing is I've got four of these and I just take them off let them dry out if it rains uh, you want to empty it if it rains so they don't get the 
the hay doesn't get moldy. Oh, the other thing I wanted to point out is what I'm doing to get these on is I'm finding kind of the approximate height I want. I'm coming in to the well or the wire fencing and then I'm looping it over and I'm doing the same on the other side. But uh, yeah, that works pretty well. I have some more goat hay feeder ideas on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. I don't always get video of everything. So make sure to visit and thanks so much. Please subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.